NKU men's and women's basketball get a win. NKU volleyball heads into the postseason, and the Eagles' perfect record finally ends, and the college football playoff race heats up. Welcome to the Norse Media Sports Break. I'm Brian Bauer. NKU bas men's basketball grabbed their first win of the season over UC Claremont, 89-49. The Norse play UC tomorrow in a great local matchup of two teams. UC is led by David DeJulius, averaging 23 points a game. NKU is a veteran team and will have to play their best to take advantage of a UC team who is still trying to figure out their identity. The NKU women's basketball played a classic in their season opener. Here's more from Justice White. The NKU women's basketball team had an exciting start to the season versus Lipscomb University. It was a long one that went into triple overtime, but the NKU women's basketball team got the win 101 to 95. Leading the North tonight was Lindsay Duvall with 36 points. Right behind her was Kamari Mitchell Steen with 26. Working the ball, Lindsay Duvall finds Emmy Souter for the easy lay in. Ivy Turner with a strong drive as she gets the layup to go. The Norse had their fast transition offense going tonight as Lindsey Duvall gets the breakaway layup. One of Kaylee Davis's big threes for the night sinks in. She was three for three tonight behind the arc. This is what Coach Cameron Whitaker had to say about the hard-fought win. We were down nine with a minute to go, and these kids just found a way. And it just defines who they are. The NKU women's basketball team will now travel to Kent State for a game on Sunday. Well, they will try to continue their winning streak thus far. Reporting from Truist Arena, I'm Justice White. NKU volleyball finishes the season strong with back-to-back -back wins this weekend, peaking just in the right time for the postseason. In their last 15 games, the Norse are 13-2, making their record 17-12 overall and 15-3 in the Horizon League. The Norse earned the second seed and a first round bye to begin their conference tournament against their rival Wright State this weekend. The Eagles' perfect streak comes to an end with an upset loss to the Washington Commanders 32-21, shaking up the NFC playoff race. This win keeps Washington in the race for one of those final playoff spots, and not only does this affect the NFC East, but the NFC overall as the Vikings are now tied for the first overall seed with the Vikings. As the college football season winds down, the playoff picture constantly evolves with Georgia leading the way as a clear number one. Three other spots are still open for grabs with Ohio State, Michigan, TCU all fighting for a spot with LSU's win over Arkansas and Ole Miss losing against Alabama. The Tigers claim a spot in the SEC championship. This puts them in an interesting spot to be the first two-loss team in playoff history. It's a great thing for college football to have such a fun race to the playoffs. Thanks for watching Norse Media Sports Break.